out in Bullock County, one farmer is trying his hand at a fruit not usually grown here in the state of Georgia. Damon Jones recently traveled to Franklin Farms to get an up close look at their set Suma Harvest and tells you how it differs from your typical orange. While it might look familiar, something new to the state is being produced here in Statesboro as Franklin Farms begins their harvest of satsumas. Now, unlike your typical orange, this citrus fruit is smaller in size and easier to eat. Well, the regular oranges you buy in the grocery store are hard to peel. And uh, if, if you try to peel them, you just get juice all over the place. And most of the time, like tangerines, they got seeds in them. Kids don't like seeds. I don't like seeds. And these satsumas are just so easy to peel. And that could make them very marketable in the coming years. In fact, this fruit has already had plenty of success in other states. They've been grown in Louisiana, South Louisiana, and Alabama for years, and we're just now getting them started in Georgia. And, and I think it's going to be a valuable crop, you know, here in Georgia one day. As for why Franklin decided to give Satsumas a chance, it was part taste and part geography. And I tried my first Satsumas down there, and they were just delicious, you know. And so I said, I can grow these in Bullock County. <laughs> so, so I came back, and in the spring of 10, I went uh, down to Louisiana and found a nursery, and I got 200 trees, brought them back, set them out, and that's what we're, uh, is in production now, are those 200 trees. And uh, within a couple of years, we'll have anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 trees in production. That type of expansion is possible due in large part to the growing conditions Bullock County offers with its soil conditions and temperatures throughout the year. We get just the right amount of cold. In other words, satsumas have to have a certain amount of cold hours to get sweet. That's why they can't grow them down in South Florida or Middle Florida. So the cold weather actually sweetens them up and makes them good and juicy. However, you can get too much of a good thing, especially when the trees are young, as cold winters provide a major challenge for the producers. The biggest obstacle is the freeze protection during the winter time. Uh, their uh, satsumas are, uh, when they're young, if it gets down below 20 degrees, you need some type of frost protection on them. Now, as the tree gets larger, you, they'll take 15 degrees, you know, when the trunk gets about four or five inches in diameter. Growing this fruit will also take plenty of hard work and patience, as results will take a while to see. And it takes about three to five years before they're going to mature and have good fruit on them. Um, and in between that, you've got a lot of herbicides to put out to keep the weeds down and, you know, general maintenance. But that patience has finally paid off as his satsumas are now being bagged. And the grocery stores and markets might not be the only place you see this fruit, as Franklin hopes to get them into the school systems within the next couple of years. You know, I want to get people, uh, local people, kids, to, to enjoy them and try them. And, and once they try them, they go love them. And, and I think it's a good, healthy fruit snack for the school system, for the children. Reporting from Statesboro, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.